Good to see y'all. Good evening. I love being here. I've had the best tour, y'all. It's been a great tour. I just, uh, every place I've played, I've been, I've been greeted with so much love and acceptance, and it's been killer. And it's great, great to be here at the Kessler and play with my old buddies. I've known Jeff since we were both kids, man. So I'm glad to be here. That's why I've known Jeff so long. So let's say about him. But this one about the first time I went out to Los Angeles. So I grew up in Austin. Y'all, y'all probably know that. But um, when I very first started, we. Uh, we were from South Austin, and that's a, that was a big difference at that point. Austin was a much smaller town. Yeah. You now South Austin is somewhere south of Dell. But um, we had these friends that moved from Austin, um, guys who went to my high school a few years older than me, and they'd been in a band called The Big Boys. And this guy, Chris Gates, and a couple of dudes, him and his brother Andy moved out to L.A. And Chris started a band uh, called Junkyard with this other awesome guy, David, and so they were kind of a big deal. They had videos on MTV. They were kind of like a punk metal band. They weren't really that good, but but they were famous, and they were the only band we knew, and so when, when they showed up at our show, the first time I ever played LA, with LA it was a pretty big deal. <clears throat> so I remember looking at it going, man, we made it. Playing in LA, we got rock stars in the crowd, and so we did the show, and afterwards, um, there was a after party downstairs, and so I walked downstairs, and there were, um, the way I remember it was just everybody was so beautiful and enticing, and I just wanted to get in that room and party with all those guys, because I felt like that's what you did when you got to Hollywood, right? This guy's standing in the doorway, and I brushed past him because he just kind of like, you know, looks like this kind of homeless dude, to get to basically the titties. <laughs> And the guy, while I'm walking by him, says, hey man, good show. Hey, thanks, dude. And uh, hang out for the night, have a blast, go home, wake up the next morning, and my friend, Skate Master Tate, calls me and said, man, you know, Sly Stone was at your show last night. And I go back through the, through the night, and I'm like, oh, shit. That was that dude in the doorway that said, great show, and I ended up going home with some bimbo and doing nothing that mattered a day later, and I blew off my favorite musician in the whole world. Never, ever, ever made that mistake again. On her knees she's divine. Got an angel you trip, but she don't seem to mind. The life and eyes that let you down. You fell to the floor without making a sound. Sympathize, yeah, and suffer the bastards who pay with their quiet indiscretions and 
Lovely to see y'all. You know, I had a great tour. I just, I haven't done a lot of the acoustic sets for a while. I've been doing the reunion band shows, Lost of Clothes shows, and I'm busy. This has been great, a lot of fun. So it's always cool to do something when you haven't done it for a while, you get a different perspective. And I did a, a short Canadian tour a few weeks ago, went up to uh, BC and had a great tour. Everybody was really kind to me, very, very uh, nice and accommodating. Shows were sold out, people clapped after every song. Um, and it was great. I mean, when I came home, I was like, that was a, that was a really good tour, but I gotta say, no, it wasn't cold. It was actually beautiful. Yes, it's well, wait, let me get to it on my own. You guys are like, you guys are like, it's like I tell my friend Danielle, sometimes you just gotta slow down a little bit. You know? The thing is, it's funny, like I'll, I'll do this next song, and um, when I play for you guys, a lot of y'all know it. When I play it for people in Nanaimo, British Columbia, and I say, well, this is this song I wrote on my first record called Blue Sky. They go, ah. <laughs> And that right there is the difference. <laughs> so this is a little song I wrote back on my first record called Paint